Okay, today's the day. I've gathered together various demolition tools and I'm gonna be taking out all of the stuff that's on the walls. These shelves are nailed in from the top, so basically these have to be beaten out. I have my big old hammer. This is a dead blow hammer filled with lead shot. And I'll try using that on these. My daughter got a lot of this stuff out, but I still have to get all of these nails out. I think I'll just pry these little ones out, but these big ones, we have eight and 10 penny. Well, they're probably 10 and 16 actually, but they're big nails. Got a bunch of them here. And I think we're gonna use the grinder for that. Just cut them off. We'll use the oscillating tool to cut this pipe off. And once that's off, this should come out fairly easy. If not, we'll just cut it out. All right, what I'm gonna do is start right at the door and work my way all the way around the room and end up back at the door again. Yeah, this should be fun. All right, let's get going by, well, we'll take this little coat hanger off first and this, and then we'll start cutting them nails off. We have many different types of screws. So I have to bring a couple different kinds of bits with me. Now this is going pretty quick. We're going to bog down when we get over there, but let's get the flat bar out and pry this off. We'll see how that goes. Got a nail down here. Definitely have to have hearing protection for this. Oh, not a problem. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, now for this. This is where our little breaker box was mounted. And I can't tell how I attached this, if I attached it from the outside or if I glued it. This could do some damage. Again, these walls are coming out, so. Ah, looks like. Yeah, it's nailed from the sides there. All right. It's glued as well. All right, what I'm gonna do, when I take the wall off, I'm just going to take a sawzall and cut this along the side. So that's going to stay for a while.
Okay, I'm gonna have to go out and take off this dryer vent. We actually had our washer and dryer in here while we were doing work on the house. Yeah, I was hoping I didn't have to take this out because I don't want water coming in here. It's gonna rain in the next couple of weeks. I'll have to just tape that until we replace this back panel here. All right, let me get this out and we'll continue bashing this little barn dominium. If we would have hooked this up to something, the little door wouldn't have opened and it would have backed up into the room. Yeah, I hate these hornets. Got a little mess going here, but that's just a sign of progress. All right, we have a few like this over in there, and this is the only one on this wall. It's nailed through the stud into the shelf here, and they're big, like 16 penny nails. So what I'm gonna do is just take the Sawzall and cut it in half. I'll end up cutting right through the wall while I'm doing that, but it doesn't matter. Then I'm just going to hit it down and get the wood off of there and then cut the nails with the grinder. When I'm done doing all this stuff, I'll go on the outside and tape over that and tape over this stuff just so rain doesn't get in. And like I said, we're replacing these panels anyway, so it really doesn't matter what I do to them. Okay, let's cut that in half. even have to cut through the wall.
now we officially have a big mess. I'm going to get all the wood cleaned up, get it in that box, sweep things up. Then I got to move all that stuff over here somewhere out of the way and I can get at that last stuff on the wall. I still have a ton of nails up on the ceiling, but those go really quick. Okay, let's clean this up. All right, got her all cleaned up and we're in the home stretch now. This right here used to be over in here someplace and it was a toothbrush holder. We used it to hold our toothbrushes one time and when we came back the next time we found out that mice were chewing on the brushes. Oh, it says Nat for Natalie. Yeah, that's interesting. What do we have here? Oh, that's the hole and a comb. I think that's it. All right, so these, I believe these will pound up fairly easy. And then we got nails, so I have to pry that stuff off the wall. Came off real easy on the other wall. Hopefully we don't have any problems with this. And then we have just a little more of the water and that'll be it, at least for today. I think we got one more video doing the upstairs and I'll probably make that a short, but we'll talk about that later. That's it for the wood blocking. Some of this was real easy. That was all the stuff that was behind the counter. It was like flush with, well, a little bit below the counter and then there was a shelf. So the counter went up and then the shelf went into here. That was easy to get off. Some of this stuff with the big 16 penny nails, that was harder, but it's all done now. Well, this part's done. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I got to go over the ceiling, take these out. These look like they're going to be real easy, but like I said before, there's nails and screws everywhere. So when I get back, we'll get that done. I got to go warm my feet up. It's actually fairly cold out right now. So let me go do that and we'll wrap this up. All right, we got her all cleaned up. Now we're ready for the last push. I think I'll start with these and then not too many screws, then I'll cut out the rest of these nails.
have it. All the shelves are gone, all the nails are gone, the hooks, all that stuff. The downstairs is 100% clean. Tomorrow, and I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do up there because it's kind of a cramped space. Those collar ties going across, those are 51 inches from the floor here. So I'm, I'm 6'4", so I'm not real sure how much I'm going to be able to do up there. Maybe my daughter's going to have to do some of it, but we'll see. But this is tomorrow's task. Then, once this place is completely stripped down, we're going to start with the front wall. Actually, we're going to start with the front wall upstairs. I have to take off this old sheathing here, reframe the wall a little bit, and put a window in there. Then we'll go down and do this lower wall. This is going to get framed in, and it's going to have a door right in the center here. So we're going to add a little bit of framing and get that done as well. And we're going to work our way around. Pull the siding off, reframe. This is going to get a window here. Reframe for the window, put the new siding on. We're going to put T111 siding on. It's a fairly cheap siding, but it's a lot better than what's on there. The back wall has to be reframed for a doorway right here. And it's only going to have the T111 a foot over, so I'll have to frame right here as well. Yeah, that'll be pretty interesting. This, I believe, is the only wall that doesn't have any new framing. We just got to take the siding off and put the new siding on. This will have a mini split up here. I believe that's where we're going to put it. And then put the outside unit right over here somewhere. I'll be talking to my daughter on Sunday and see where she wants stuff, but that's pretty much the only place it can go. Good, good, good. Okay, so like I said, tomorrow's video will be in the upstairs and I'll show you the number one only toilet. I made this toilet out of plywood. You really got to see that. So if you want to see it, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.